Hi everybody, and if I haven't said Happy New Year to you yet, Happy New Year! It's the second day of the year already. Time flies. The year's getting a move on. We've got a long journey ahead of us. You know, my mother used to like to make patkos when we went on holiday. I love that Afrikaans word, patkos, food for the road. And we would be on our way on holiday and we'd pull into one of the old laybys, open the boot and there she'd made sardine sang sandwiches. I don't know how many of you like sardine sandwiches, <laughs> but, my, but my mother used to love making them and they were, I thought they were pretty good. And uh, then we'd get back in the car and we'd be on our way again with our tummies full. Well, as we go on this journey of the new year, we need some patkos. Uh, for those of you who enjoy hiking, um, you know, one of the lovely things about hiking on the mountains is you go across the mountain streams where the water is crystal clear and beautifully cold and you can just scoop up water and you can have your water for the road, your patvata. Well, we need patkos for the Christian journey. One thing is to accept the Lord, to accept Jesus, but another thing is to live the life of a Christian day by day. Uh, because once you've started on the road, there are all kinds of challenges. Um, Paul says in Galatians, he says in Galatians chapter 5, verse 25, he says, if you live by the Spirit, in other words, if you've started on the road, then you must keep in step with the Spirit, or you must walk by the Spirit. So every day you've got to keep walking. And the Bible says that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit, that the Spirit of God dwells within us. So there is within us a huge reservoir of resources as we live the Christian life. And so as we hit different situations, maybe in a work situation or family situation, we need patience. Well, there's a deep well full of patience that God provides that you can draw on. Maybe you need some self-control because you can feel yourself about to lose your cool or say something you shouldn't. And God has provided in that well a great supply of self-control. When you need wisdom and guidance, yes, it's there. If you need your heart to be touched with the joy of the Lord and to be uplifted in difficult times, there's a rich reserve of joy right there. It's all there. The patkos, the food for the road. We need to turn to God and thank him that it's there and then draw on that rich supply. You know, Jesus, I just want to quote two verses from John's Gospel. He said... In John's Gospel, chapter 6, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry. He who believes in me will never go thirsty. Because Jesus supplies those inner resources that we need in order to be able to face life and to deal with the things that come across our path. And then he said in the next chapter, he said, if anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, Streams of living water will flow from within him. And by this he meant the Holy Spirit. That we can live from that spring of life, that spring of God's presence, that spring of God's character that he plants within us. That's patkos, that's food for the road. So as you start out today, why not try and make a sardine sandwich? You might actually enjoy it. But more than that, you need to be able to draw upon the rich supplies of God, to be able to be the person that he calls you to be. May every year, be, every day of the year, be filled with God's rich supply for you. May God go with you. Bye for now.